powder. In today's video, we're looking at the new augments for Hildren called Aegis Gale. Came out with the Komai, Komei and the Five Fates update that came out just today, as of recording this at least. And it is one of four new augments. It also came alongside several changes for Hildren, which we'll briefly go over because I feel like the context is important. So the changes to Hildren were for the most part, just a Balefire and Aegis Storm, right? They didn't really, they didn't do anything to Haven and Pillage. Balefire's charge attack went from 450 drain shields per shot to 200, which is pretty nice. And the damage went from 1,000 at base to 3,000. So, or not 3,000, sorry, 1,500, 1,500, 1,500. And that's important because before it was four and a half times the shield cost for double the damage. Now it is double the shield cost for triple the damage. However, there is still the problem of it having a two second charge time, whereas it's a 0.833 fire rate at base. So as far as DPS goes, you're only going to be at like 15% higher DPS. So I don't think that really matters, to be totally honest. Other than that, Asia's Storm, you now move faster in it. It's more convenient to use. When you slam down out of it, you uh, have immunity and it launches enemies in the air, lifts them. And you can also use abilities while you're in her four now, including her own pillage or helmet abilities, right? So like I can spam condemn here. And that is very important because it means Aegis isn't dog water anymore. Now the augment, Asia Scale, it's for Asia Storm. It also requires that you have Asia Storm and Balefire because it affects Balefire. So you have to keep both of these. You can't subsume either one off. Balefire has an alternate fire during Asia Storm. The blast deals 15% of Hildren's max shield as additional damage. Now, the additional damage is really nice. It's based off of, like it says, her max shields. And it does also scale with strength. So if we are at 5,000... Right, 5263 with just prime redirection, so we'll round down to 5000. That gives us an extra 750 base damage, which is pretty huge. And that also, again, scales with strength. The more strength you have, the bigger amount of base damage increase you get. So, right now, with 5200 shields and 229 strength, that puts us at a delicious 1808 additional base damage which is pretty good, I'd say. Pretty freaking good. And that adds onto the weapon as if it were base damage so that all of your mods, right, all of these will still apply to it. It's not its own flat damage afterwards. It's flat damage that's calculated as if it was just base damage on the weapon, which is very, very good. That means our damage just with this right here, is going to be significantly higher than it would normally be. But that's not where the benefits end. The alternate fire part of it. When you are in Aegis Storm, you can alt fire and it will rapidly shoot out four bail fire shots. These are normal shots, not charged shots. So they consume the amount as a normal charge shot would do and do the damage a normal charge shot would do. But it shoots pretty fast, which is really good this compared to the fire rate of just shooting the normal bear bail fire i'd say it's like two and a half to three times faster so <laughs> the dps increase here is really high so if we come over here simulate and then we cast bail fire shoot this guy you can see we do a thousand sixteen i don't know what's up with the the variation in damage numbers here now if we cast Bale fire though and then we alt fire you can see that our damage is about double okay we're doubling our damage more than doubling it actually on top of having way higher fire rate because of it rapidly shooting out four shots so our dps is going to end up going up by like five times or higher right five times or higher dps increase on bail fire that's huge that's freaking massive. It can make Balefire actually do damage. Because of that, if you want to maximize your damage, you obviously want high strength and high shields. Though you do have to be careful because the more enemies picked up by Aegis Storm, the faster your shields drain. 
Now, I like Boreal's Hatred because it makes us get damage reduction while airborne. It gives us shield capacity, so we're tankier and we get a bigger damage increase. And ability efficiency, so it doesn't cost as much shields to use Balefire or Age of Storm or any of our abilities in general. It's just very, very nice to have here. We, of course, want Combat Discipline and Arcane Avenger so we can actually crit. This won't be a build video, but I do just want to show the kind of damage increase you can get. Here's the, the build on that's for if you're interested and we are going to be full stripping with our pillage it will take two casts our damage increase is at 2228 which is pretty good now we come over here we simulate these guys now let's see what kind of, this is the kind of wait it's only fair that we full strip this is the kind of damage you're doing normally absolutely pathetic for an exalted weapon this is horrendous but 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 deletes simulate we're going to strip the armor again of course oh yeah and also auto cast balefire when you enter aegis storm now let's see how much damage we can do to them That's pretty freaking good. <laughs> That's a big damage increase. On top of the fact that now, to fix the fact you normally run out of shields in this, you can cast Pillage. Or you can put on a helmet ability like Condemn that gives you a crap ton of shields back as well. So as long as you're careful, you should never have to exit your four or have to worry about running out of shields. Very, very strong augment for her. I do wish it was inherently part of her kits, but it's still pretty insane. And because strength affects the damage bonus that's given by this, the bonus and base damage, on top of affecting the damage you get from Balefire normally, you're sort of double dipping here on strength. So, you know, the bigger the amount of strength, you're just going to really skyrocket in your damage. Now... You could put Molt Augmented on here, but I prefer these Augments. And then, you know, you could always have more Strength Shards if you wanted as well, because I have double Parkour and Casting Speed. But it is nice to have the Parkour Velocity, so you can, you know, move around faster in your Aegis Storm. That's it for the Augment. Pretty straightforward for the most part. Very strong Augment. Definitely recommend trying it out. Hildren's my favorite Warframe in the game. I freaking love her. And now my beautiful Muscle Mommy isn't total dog water. If you liked the video, then leave a like and subscribe. Adios.